You texted your boyfriend to say, I love you, and he just replied with, love you. Well, here's how you're going to get him back. Step one, you're going to ask your boyfriend if he's ever seen a dead body, because it's your granddad's open casket funeral this weekend, and you'd like your boyfriend to come along with you. He was really a wonderful, wonderful man. Step two, you arrive at the funeral, say hi to the family, make your way over to your granddad's coffin, tell your boyfriend you will literally break up with him if he doesn't give your granddad a little goodbye kiss on the forehead, and just as your boyfriend leans in for that little goodbye kiss, you smash your boyfriend over the head with an urge, shove him into your granddad's coffin and slam the casket shut. Listen here, you stinky little weasel. You're gonna tell me you love me and you're gonna say it like you mean it. Or you'll spend the rest of your days six feet under the ground with my dead little granddad. And trust me, mate, he was boring when he was alive. So it's gonna be a hell of a lot more boring now that he's dead. What's it gonna be, Mr. Boyfriend? Are you gonna tell me that you love me? Or are you gonna spoon my little granddad in his coffin until your oxygen runs out and you shake your pants and die? Boom! Step three, your boyfriend screams out from inside the coffin, says, I love you, properly, instead of just love you. You simply let him out of the coffin, bury your granddad, and enjoy the rest of your granddad's funeral. Stealing all the covers at night. Well, here's how you're gonna get them back. Step one, you're gonna take your girlfriend to the slaughterhouse. Cause you've just bought two sirloin steaks for dinner and you need to pick them up ASAP. Dinner's on me tonight, babe. Step two, you arrive at the slaughterhouse, say hi to the butcher, ask to have a look around back, and accidentally lock yourself and your girlfriend inside the giant meat freezer. You then open your backpack, pull out a big double duvet bed cover, and tell your girlfriend it looks like you have no choice but to try and survive the night. Okay? Step three, you and your girlfriend snuggle up in the duvet bed covers, and just as she drifts off into a 
peaceful slumber. You spin yourself 360 like a fork in a bowl of spaghetti. And then the cupboard from your girlfriend so she freezes in the dark of night. Your girlfriend begs you to return the cupboard. Do you see how it feels now, girlfriend? Do you see how it feels to be left frozen in the dark of night? This is how it feels. Boom! And then your girlfriend simply promises to never steal the covers again. You two shake hands, wait for the butcher to come and free you from the giant meat freezer, and go home with a smile on your face.